How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video, and today I'm bringing to you a quick guide on how to get the Deathbringer Exotic Rocket Launcher. This weapon doesn't see a ton of use, but I figured it may be useful to get your hands on it now, so that if there is a Rocket Launcher buff, or this gets a buff individually with the release of Beyond Light, then you'll have it and be ready to go. While it's not super great for boss damage or ad clear, it can be a fun heavy weapon to use in the Crucible if you don't have an exotic in your energy or kinetic slot. It can be a kind of shoot and forget weapon. Just shoot it in the direction of red on the radar and maybe even up in the air a little bit and just walk away. Anyway, before you're able to begin the quest, you must have completed the Memory of Psy Moda. If you haven't done that and don't have it in your inventory, you need to complete the Lunar Spelunker Bounty from Eris Morn and get a Firewall Data Fragment which is used at the end of the K1 Revelations Lost Sector. This is where you will acquire the Memory of Psy Moda. Once you complete the Memory of Psy Moda, the quest for the Deathbringer should be available to you. If you've already completed the Memory of Psy Moda previously, check your quest tab for the Symphonies of Death quest. If you don't have it, you should find it at Eris Morn. Once acquired, you will be on the first step of the quest called Faculties of the Skull, which requires you to complete a short mission in the Circle of Bones on the Moon. A blue marker should appear on your map, mark it and follow the waypoint which will lead you beneath the moon's surface. Once there, complete the quest. It's rather short and it simply requires you to clear out the enemies in the same area that the Nightmare of Fogoth fight occurs in that Nightmare Hunt. Once you've completed that step, you'll be on a step called Tainted Lullaby. You will have to return to Eris Morn. Eris will then give you the next step called Marrow's Elegy in which you must collect bones from public events near the Hellmouth, the K1 Revelations Lost Sector, and a Wandering Bone Collector. The first two are pretty straightforward, check to see if there's a public event in the Hellmoth area and if so complete it, if not move on to the other requirements for now. The K1 Revelations Lost Sector is found in Sorrows Harbor, once completed you'll receive the bone. And the easiest area to find a wandering bone collector in my opinion is the Anchor of Light. Follow the route seen on screen to locate the bone collector, once it is killed you will receive the bone. If you still need the public event bone, check to see if there is a public event starting soon in the Hellmouth. If not, just wait a little while. Once you have all the bones, you'll be on the next step called Thy Honored Conduction, which requires you to kill the High Conductor Salmakta within the Scarlet Keep Strike. All you need to do here is load the strike up from the moon map and play through it as normal. Once at the elevator section, the second stop is where the High Conductor will spawn and make sure to at least get a hit on it to gain progress. You may be tempted to just ditch out of the strike here, but chances are your teammates aren't here for the same quest you are, and they are just running the strike, so help them out and finish it up. It's nearly over anyway. When that's complete, the next step is called Of Darkest Harmony, and this requires you to record discomfort, pain, cries, and anguish screams. Does that seem a little dark to anyone else? Anyway, you'll need 700 discomfort, 110 pain cries, and 50 anguish screams. To get discomfort, kill minor enemies, to get pained cries, defeat elites and mini bosses, and to get anguished screams, kill bosses or other guardians. You gain bonus progress for these objectives on the moon. Head to Sorrow's Harbor and hit up the Altar of Sorrow event. There should be plenty of people doing this to grind out their solstice clothes. This event will easily net you the boss and minor enemy kills if you just keep playing it for a little while. However, I was at about 50% for mini bosses and elites since the only ones in the event are the knights that drop the sword and the shield wizards. If you're in the same boat I was, you have a couple of options. First, you can guarantee kills by loading up the leviathan raid. The entrance has 8 elites which each count as 1%, so you'll get 8% per run. Or simply just look for a public event on the moon and try to make it heroic, and you should easily polish off the remaining pain cries with 1 or 2 public events. When you've completed that morbid step, you'll be on the Choir of the Damned, which requires you to complete another mission on the moon. This time you'll face off against a Death Singer to acquire its skull. You'll once again have a blue marker on the moon's map, mark it and follow the waypoint. Begin the quest and it should be rather straightforward from there. In a couple of the rooms you'll notice a timer for the Death Singer song. You just need to reach the Death Singer and kill it before the countdown ends. This process will repeat a few times. Once you get to the end, you'll receive the final item you need to take back to Eris in a step called A Death of Nightmares, in which you'll receive your exotic rocket launcher, Deathbringer. I really want this weapon to be good at some point. Bungie, please buff. 
It's quite unique and has a cool design and the method behind its construction is actually quite sinister as we just witnessed. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this quick guide and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.